What is your definition of a good life? Let's talk about that here at Pathways of Hope. My name is Alvin Fabelia, and today let's reflect on Luke chapter 6, verses 17, 20 to 26. The world defines a good life using several variables, several components. The world defines it as being rich. The world defines it as having an abundant of material wealth, especially in the area of food. The world defines a good life as one that has no problem or being happy all the time. Or sometimes the world defines a good life when you are a popular person, that people follow you, that you got a lot of followers in your social media accounts. But how does Jesus define what a good life is? He defines it totally different. In today's gospel, he tells us that we are blessed when we are poor. Blessed are you poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Jesus says that we are also blessed when we are hungry. Blessed are you that hunger now, for you shall be satisfied. Jesus says that we are blessed when we are weeping, when we are sad, when we are lonely. Blessed are you that weep now, for you shall laugh. And Jesus says that we are blessed when we are unpopular, when people hate what we stand for, when people persecute us. Blessed are you when men hate you, and when they exclude you and revile you, and cast your name as evil on account of the Son of Man. So what is Jesus telling all of us today? As we read the Gospel, it's like Jesus taking the happiness criteria of the world and turning it upside down. Jesus is telling us that the way to live a good life is not about wealth. It's not about acquiring material things, especially food. It's not about being popular. It's not about being happy or laughing all the time. Jesus is telling us that the way to live a good life is to prioritize Jesus, to prioritize God all the time, to have God in your life. That is the way to holiness. In John 10.10, Jesus tells us that He came into our world so that we may have life to the fullest. And that is what Jesus wants for you, for me, for all of us. We have to realize that God alone is enough. Jesus is enough for all of us. Solo Dios basta. My friend, if you've got Jesus in your life, then you are super blessed to the mega highest level. Accept Jesus every day and live the life that God wants you to live. If you were blessed by today's episode, why don't you like and share it to your friends? Tag their name in the comments section below and help us to be a pathway of hope to others. God bless your week!